With the release of View 3.2, a new composition tool was made available for us called Expose. Have you ever created a component that needs to make a few methods and properties available to the template, but wish that those methods were private to the component and not being able to be called by the parent? If you are building an open source component or a library, chances are you want some of those internal methods private. Now, before Vue 3.2, this was not an easy thing to accomplish, since everything that was declared in the Options API in either methods or data, for example, was made publicly available so that the template could access it. The same is true of the Composition API. Everything that we return out of the setup method can be accessed directly by the parent. Let's take a look at a practical example. We have this component that creates a counter, and each second it updates that counter. If we look at the template, we have a counter variable that is exposing the counter number and two buttons. One button calls the reset method and one button calls the terminate method. Inside the setup method, we find a counter that is a view ref. We have a set interval call that increases the value of this counter and we store the interval. Finally, we have the reset and the terminate functions. The reset will reset the counter to zero and terminate will clear the interval. We return all of this from the setup function. Let's take a look at this component in the browser. Notice that when I click the reset button, the counter correctly resets to zero. And when I click the scroll for terminate, it stops. From a composition point of view, I would like for the parent components to be able to call the reset method directly if needed. But I want to keep the terminate function and the counter ref only available to the component. I don't want anyone to be able to access them. If we instantiate this component in a parent, app.view for example, and we attach a ref to it, we can easily allow the parent to call the reset method because it has been exposed along with terminate when we return it from setup. Let's take a look. I have already added to the app.view an instance of my counter and two buttons. We will get to those in a minute. First, we will add to my counter a ref with a value of counter. Let's scroll down to the reset method. We will access through our ref counter the reset method of the instance. Then we will do the same for terminate. This will allow us to call our instantiated my counters component reset and terminate methods, which are attached to the buttons in app.view. Let's go take a look in the browser. As you can see, when I call reset from parent, the counter correctly resets. And when I click terminate from parent, the counter stops. This is not what we want. Let's be explicit about what we want to expose to the parent so that only the reset function is available. Let's go back to our code. First, I will add props and context to the setup parameters. Then we will scroll down and I will make a call to context.expose and pass in the reset method. We need to have the context available to us because this is where the expose function lives. So we need to add both the props param and the context param. Notice that we used context.expose to declare an object of elements that we want to expose to the parent that instantiates this component. In this case, we are only going to make the reset function available. Let's go back to the browser. If we run this example again and click the terminate from parent button, we will get a JavaScript error. The terminate function is no longer available and our private API is now inaccessible. Let's stop for a second and talk about the options API. I have purposely chosen to do the first example using the composition API because of the second use case of the expose function. However, I want you to know that it is also possible to use this method in the options API. In order to write this component with the declared expose, we could rewrite it as follows. Notice that we have added a new options API property expose that allows us to pass in an array where the string reset is the name of the function that we are making publicly available. Let's now talk about the second use case of the expose function. A very powerful and flexible way to create components is to leverage the power of render functions. This is not new to Vue 3, 
However, with the creation of the Composition API, we now have the flexibility of returning the Composition H function directly from a setup method. This poses a problem because the whole return statement in our setup function is just the H method with the nodes that the component is creating. If at this point we choose to expose something to the parent, we have the inverse problem that the one we saw before. Nothing is being exposed because nothing is being returned except for the DOM elements. Let's go ahead and rewrite the myCounter.view component to use this method. First, let's go ahead and get rid of the template block. Then, let's import H from view. We can now remove the return statement completely and we will rewrite it. We are going to return a function that returns age. Our top level element will be a div and now we can declare the children. The first child is a p tag and we will interpolate the counter.value variable with a counter string. Next, we will create a button. We will add an onclick listener that is bound to our reset method, and finally a reset label for that button. The third element is another button. Again, we will add an onclick listener, but this time we will bind it to terminate with the terminate string. Let's comment out the context.expose method for now to illustrate the problem. The return statement now replicates the DOM structure we had before with the template. Let's go back to the browser. If I click reset from parent or terminate from parent, notice that now we get JavaScript errors for both. The reset method is no longer being exposed since it's not being returned by the setup function. To fix this, we need to uncomment our context.expose call and make it once again available. Let's go back to the browser once more. Now, if I click reset from parent, it correctly resets but the terminate function is still not exposed as desired. The new expose method is very intuitive and easy to implement in our components. It clears up a couple of very important composition problems that would have merited even a complete component rewrite in the past. So even if it's not your day-to-day go-to API, it's something worth keeping nearby in your developer tool belt.